Hi everyone, today we're looking at the thermal decomposition of copper sulphate. Like many hydrated salts, copper sulphate loses water when it's heated to leave the anhydrous salt, but unlike most it undergoes a colour change while losing its water. Today we're doing this on a microscale, using a bottle top crucible. First weigh out between about half a gram and a gram of blue copper sulphate. As you can see we have just slightly over half a gram here. Now heat your crucible. We're just using a small spirit burner, but you can just as well use a Bunsen burner, though you'll need to be careful not to heat it too strongly. As you can see, quite soon the copper sulphate starts to turn white, particularly around the edges. To be absolutely accurate, you would need to keep on heating and reweighing and heating and reweighing until there was no further change in mass, but we're just going to stop when all the solid has gone white. Now let your copper sulphate cool and then reweigh it. You can clearly see that it has lost mass, nearly 0 0.2 of a gram in this case. As you can see we have an off-white powder, this is anhydrous copper sulphate. Let's see what happens when we add water back to it. You can easily see the return of the blue in its hydrated state. You may also be able to see a small amount of water vapour coming off as the process is quite exothermic. It's also possible to work out how accurate we've been. Hydrated copper sulphate contains 36% water and as you can see from the calculations we were pretty close. 